Hi friends, welcome to Naresh High Technologies. Welcome to the second session on boats and streams. The first question, the time taken by a boat to travel upstream is thrice the time taken by the boat to travel the same distance downstream. Find the speed of the boat in still water if the speed of the stream is 3 kilometers per hour. Now, first of all, let us write down what is given for us in the question. The time taken by a boat to travel upstream is thrice time taken by the boat to travel the same distance downstream. So, time taken to travel upstream is 3 times the time taken by the boat to travel the same distance downstream. Now, generally formula for time is distance by speed. So, d by now speed upstream should be x minus y is equal to 3 into d by speed downstream should be x plus y. Now, solving this cancel d and d cross multiply 3 into x minus y is x plus y 3 x minus 3 y is x plus y 2 x equal to 4 y or x equal to 2 y. Now, we know that x is speed of the boat in still water and y is the speed of the stream. Already we are given the speed of the stream as 3 kilometers per hour. So, speed of the boat in still water is x which should be equal to 2 into 3 6 kilometers per hour. Now, this is one way in which we can answer this question, but instead of writing all this directly we can start from here. Now, what is constant in this problem? We know that distance is constant in this problem. If distance is constant, speed and time should be inversely proportional. Now, time taken by the boat to travel upstream is thrice the time taken by the boat to travel the same distance downstream. That means, speed downstream, speed downstream should be 3 times speed upstream. Now, this is when distance is constant. Now, speed downstream x plus y should be equal to 3 into x minus y. That is, we can ignore this step and directly come to this step. So, x plus y is 3 x minus 3 y 2 x equal to 4 y or x equal to 2 y. So, if y equal to 3, so, x should be equal to 6 kilometers per hour. Now, this is how we can solve this particular problem. Now, let us look into the second problem. Right. Second question. A boat travels 30 kilometers upstream in 6 hours and 44 kilometers downstream in 4 hours. Find the time taken by the boat to travel 32 kilometers in still water. Now, here we need to find the time taken by the boat to travel 32 kilometers in still water. Definitely to tell the answer for this, we first of all have to find out what is the speed of the boat in still water. Now, for that some information is given for us that the boat travels 30 kilometers upstream in 6 hours. So, from this given information, we can find out the speed of the boat upstream. Definitely speed is nothing but distance by time. So, 30 by 6 which is 5 kilometers per hour. Speed of the boat upstream should be equal to 30 by 6 which is 5 kilometers per hour. Now, speed of the boat downstream will be equal to now the boat is traveling 44 kilometers downstream in 4 hours. So, its speed should be 11 kilometers per hour. Now, from the given information x minus y is 5 and x plus y is 11. Solving this we get 2 x equal to 16 or x equal to 8. That is the speed of the boat in still water is 8 kilometers per hour. Now, we have to answer our question find the time taken by the boat to travel 32 kilometers in still water. 
Now time taken to travel is distance by speed which is 32 and the speed of the boat in still water is 8. So 32 by 8 answer is 4 hours. So the time taken by the boat to travel 32 kilometers in still water is 4 hours. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to Naresh IT.